Gas Range Connector Kit Accessory Tools needed Adjustable wrench Channel lock pliers Pipe joint compound Non-corrosive leak detection solution This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. Warning! Explosion hazard. Use a new CSA International approved gas supply line. Install a shutoff valve. Securely tighten all gas connections. If connected to LP, have a qualified person make sure gas pressure does not exceed 14 inch, 36 centimeter, water column. Examples of a qualified person include licensed heating personnel, authorized gas company personnel, and authorized service personnel. Failure to do so can result in death, explosion, or fire. Warning! Tip over hazard. A child or adult can tip the range and be killed. Install anti-tip bracket to floor or wall per installation instructions. Slide range back so rear range foot is engaged in the slot of the anti-tip bracket. Re-engage anti-tip bracket if range is moved. Do not operate range without anti-tip bracket installed and engaged. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death or serious burns to children and adults. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install range. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. The gas supply pipe must be equipped with a manual shutoff valve. Make sure the shutoff valve is in the off position. Apply pipe joint compound to any non-flared adapter ends. Attach one adapter to the gas pressure regulator. Attach the other adapter to the pipe shutoff valve. Next, attach the flexible gas supply line to the openings of both adapters. All connections must be securely tightened, but avoid over tightening. With the gas connection secured, check that the gas pressure regulator shutoff valve is in the on position and open the manual shutoff valve on the gas supply pipe. Test all connections by applying the non-corrosive leak detection solution. The solution will bubble if there is a leak. Any leaking connection found should be corrected.